and recording. If you do not wish to receive this call, please hang up now. If you have any concerns about a prisoner's well-being, please contact the prison immediately. Go ahead, please. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm all right. How are you, buddy? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Yeah. Um, just to add a little bit of a, something to the last you know, comment. Mm-hmm. Um, even though like, I'm fully aware of the fact that because I've committed these offences in prison, right, I'm fully aware of the administrative's role um, on um, being very careful about my future and my placement, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because if my file was to land on someone's desk to make a decision, I'd be going, oh, geez, hang on a minute. Do, I, do you know what I mean? Like, we've got to be careful. Well, what do we do? Well, you, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm fully uh, fully aware of the, of, of the situation, you know? Yeah. But the thing is, is that for, what, 27 years? Do you know what I mean? Like, when's enough's enough? There's been other prisoners in other places in, in Yatla and other jails around the country who have done things wrong um, within a prison environment, yet they get the opportunity to advance and progress through the system. You know what I mean? Like we've had riots and hostage situations and officers being stabbed in the prison and everything like that. But those prisoners are being moved on. They're now in medium and low security institutions. They get the opportunity to progress. Mm-hmm. You know, and like even though that I've been sentenced by the courts, um, you know, I mean, I've done a life lag in here. For every day that I killed that copper, right, or, or rapist, right, is, is for every day, like I got 28 years non parole period for him. Yeah. And I've served 28 days here in, 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 in solitary confinement. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're yeah. kidding me, aren't you? It's... When is enough enough? If I displayed, I haven't done nothing wrong here for well over 10 years. You know what I mean? I've not had a bad report. I've not had any incidents. And I've stopped attacking officers and blah, blah, blah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you know, like if I was consistently um, unmanageable and everything like that, I'd understand. But I'm not unmanageable. I'm not unreasonable. Yeah, you've shown that you should be taken back because you've demonstrated good behaviour for so long now. Yes, yeah. Man, yeah. It, it must be devastating, man, to... Because, you, like you said, you never thought it would go on this long and now you're in this situation. Uh, yeah, no, I thought, I, I thought I'd get about five years here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I'm quite conversant with the prison system. And, yep. um, you know I mean? So I thought, well, you know, I mean, five years is a pretty big stint. But given the record within the prison, like with uh, the, the, the crimes that I've committed, and they're not crimes, by the way. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, for the things that I've done, you know, like, you know, I thought, well, five years is a pretty big stretch, but I could, yeah, you know what I mean? And We're then it just, enough, then it just enough, went on and on and on and on and on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, did you want to talk? It gives them an excuse to be lackadaisical, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's no good, but man, like, it's, no. I, I saw it on Google and I thought, how the fuck could someone, how could they keep people that made me sad to see, you know? Because there's no oversight of them, no one, they don't have to listen, uh, you know, answer to anyone really, do they? That's precisely it, you know what I mean? Like, you write to the ombudsman, the ombudsman uh, takes their side because they take the advice from them because they're professionals. And then, like, I just got a letter back from the minister in regards to my circumstances. He says that I'm being consulted and I have an avenue of complaints if I'm not happy, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, yeah. It's so, bullshit. Anyway, so what was the question you want to ask, mate? Or about about your trades and your education that you were doing. What were you doing? And, you know, tell us a bit about that. Well, well I wanted to do psychology. Someone stopped me from doing it, but I got all the textbooks and everything for psychology to do first-year psychology. Um, but I was, um, I've done, 
Oh, geez, animal welfare. I've done um, maths, English, um, professional writing, creative writing, journalism. Uh, <laughs> I've done um, history, um, the Vietnam War, the Anzac War, the Anzacs. These are through like Curtin University, um, Macquarie, um, all the different universities and that. And I do one year to like a sort of one term one, like the ones, you know what I mean? Like, and, and I pay for them myself, by the way, not the department, not the government. You know what I mean? Some courses are $800, some courses, you know what I mean? I pay for it all. I've done, um, oh, you know what I mean? I've done algebra, geometry, I've done, I've, you know what I mean? All sorts. Whatever's available, I do, I, I, I try and do. Wow. This but this, this environment's no longer conducive to programs or, um, or anything like that. Now it's bums on beds. G Division is not the environment for programs or progression or, or, or any of that sort of thing. They don't um, uh, support, et cetera, et cetera. Do you know what I mean? They, they, they see it as a hindrance. And they used to support it? What's changed? The mm. department, the departmental policy. So it's um, but more, more so with the screws, the screws that are here now. You know what I mean? Like they, it's the screws who dictate the regimes. It's the screws who to, who run this joint. It's the screws who what they say is goes. So they won't allow you to even do education now, or what's the case? Not, not at the moment. They don't care. This is not the place. No, they don't care. This is not the place to do it. This is not. The, you know what I mean? Um, when I go, uh, if and when I proceed to a place, then it will be up to the institution to um, to assess whether uh, um, education is appropriate. It is not appropriate for here. But it used to be appropriate for that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I had to, they took the education off me before, and I petitioned to the Governor of South Australia, and I'd written umpteen letters and everything, and then eventually the Minister turned around and said, Oh, look, give him his education. I don't want no more letters crossing my desk. So I got the education. Yeah, so I got, so I got my education back. And then, but it's like musical chairs with these people. You know what I mean? Like every, nearly every day in the jail here, it's a different manager, it's a different person. You know what I mean? Like it's musical chairs nowadays. Mm. And some people, you know what I mean? Like the are pro like reform and everything like that. And others are just bums on beds. Wow. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an indictment on, on, on society, what they do, and yet people like ad, 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 adults and, and, and mothers and fathers and everything like that, they've got to be scared about how, what the jail is doing to their sons and daughters. Do you know what I mean? Because the thing is, is that it, is it, they are breeding um, hostility and anger and everything like that, you know what I mean? And then... And, and, these people go back out on the street, mate, you know what I mean? And I'm a, you know what I mean, like with my psychology, like when I, and that, you know what I mean, I'm a big believer that that we sometimes, right, are a reflection on our environment. Mm. And if you treat someone like the way you keep treating them, there's only two ways out. You know, that's just me. Yeah, man, wow. Yeah, it does, it does. All it's doing is making all that solitary confinement's just making people angry and hateful and hurt, hurt, you know. And then they get out in society and they unleash it on the community. Yes, that's exactly correct. And then when they and then when they return back to society, the parole board or other people they turn around and say, "Oh, it's mental health, it's drugs, it's this and that, and everything like that." They need to stand up and 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 take a look at themselves about how, how people are. And we're not talking about holding our hands. We're not talking about sucking cock and licking up <laughs> or giving information. Yeah. All it is is just, is just, you know I mean? A lot of people, they'd love to have a trade or an education or something that they can go out to so they don't have to repeat the things that they do. Mm. Yeah, anyway, that's just me. I'm only just speaking from my experience and the, 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 what I know. Someone asked, what's the nicest things you've seen during your time? Oh, shit. What's uh, the what, sorry? The nicest thing you've seen during your time. Um, I'll have to get back to you on that. Yeah, um, that's all right. I'll, 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 yeah. um, I'll get back to you. I'll, I'll ring tomorrow. Greatly appreciated, Mick. No, 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 you're all right. It's, it's just you. Yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? Mm.
Yeah, man. All right, thank you very much for everything. You take care of yourself. Enjoy the day, and um, thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow. Thanks. You too, Mick. Cheers. Bye. Yep, thank you.